Now, this big debate that's going on about whether we should put a tax on the oil and gas companies because they've had this big bonus of price rises. And Sir Keir Starmer's leading the charge on it, but actually there's quite a few in the Tory party now agreeing and snap public opinion polls when people are told, we'll tax the companies that are making an extra £30 million a day in the North Sea and cut your fuel bills. Well, it does on the face of it sound quite attractive. We drilled down on it last night. It would lead to about £2 billion being raised. It would barely scratch the surface of the problem of domestic users. But I fear that Boris Johnson, who tends to follow opinion polls rather than lead public opinion, is going to U-turn on this and put a windfall tax on those companies. I've written a piece today for the Daily Telegraph online saying I think there's a better way. Why doesn't the government call the bosses into Downing Street next week, sit them down over lunch and say, look, the public pressure to put this windfall tax on you is becoming too difficult. It's really, really hard. We're going to have to impose it upon you unless you promise to reinvest those extra profits in offshore and onshore oil and gas production. And if you do that, we'll see our way to clearing all the regulatory barriers, the hurdles, and in doing so, tell the nation they're going to create tens of thousands of well-paid jobs. There'll be more, much more, tax going to the exchequer. And for those worried about climate change, it won't increase global CO2 will just actually be producing our own energy and become self-sufficient. That is my big idea of the week. I hope somebody across the road behind me listens to it.